Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be planning in my happy planner today. I am really, really excited to do this spread for a couple of reasons. One is because I didn't even have this theme planned at all. What I usually have is an entire list of themes that I want to do, and this was not even on it, and so I'm really excited how this is like kind of uh, like stormed up in my mind and I'll tell you how I got started on that. And the other reason why I'm excited is because I want to start to incorporate a couple of different things that I want to write down in my planner just for personal reasons. So I'm excited about that, but let's go ahead and talk about what today's theme is going to be. And it is going to be a Harry Potter theme. Who is excited? I can only imagine how many Harry Potter fans there are out there. So I've never been a Harry Potter fan. I've never watched the movies until recently. My daughter wanted to go get a couple of the movies. We own some, we don't own some. So we went and got them and she asked if I would watch them with her and I was like, okay, fine, I'll stomach through it. And the first movie, sort what is it? I don't even know what the first one's called, but I was just charmed. I was charmed by Harry Potter. He is adorable. Um, Ron Weasley is adorable. Hermione, the whole crew, they are just, how do you not fall in love with them? And even then when we watched the movies, I never once thought to do a spread. It wasn't until my daughter and I got on this website, which I'll link it down below, but it's called mypottermore.com. And basically you can get sorted into your Hogwarts house. Now, if you've never watched Harry Potter, Hogwarts is basically the school where they work on being wizard and all that stuff and the magic and all of that. And Within Hogwarts are four different schools. So upon arriving at Hogwarts from the Hogwarts Express, which is a train, you go and this, they place this magical hat on you and they sort you into your house. And the houses are, and I hope I say them right, are Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. So those are the four houses and each house has a like different color and a different animal representation. And Harry Potter was of course sorted into Gryffindor, which is extremely hard to be sorted into that house. Of course it was the house I was aiming for. So I did go to my, mypottermore.com and you take a quiz and it will sort you and put you into the house that you belong in. And I was sorted into Hufflepuff and my daughter was sorted into Slytherin. So I'm going to just throw that out there and pay attention at the end of this video in case you do want to order this spread from my Etsy shop and I will link all the information down in the description box below. So if you want a specific house, um, just when you go to my Etsy shop, you'll have to select which house you want. But in today's video, I'm actually going to focus on Gryffindor because it is the main house, the house that Harry Potter has been sorted into. So I figured that one would probably be the most popular. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the like brick red yellow theme, which is the color of Gryffindor. I hope I'm saying it right. I keep wanting to say Gryffindor, but I don't think that's right. Now, before we get started, just to give you more information on mypottermore.com, it's also really cool because J.K. Rowling, who is the author of Harry Potter, also came out with other houses. So you've got Hogwarts, and now there's like a United States house, there's like a Brazilian house, and within those locations around the world, there are houses within those. And I think the United States one is called Il... Ilvermorny, Ilmor, Ilmorny. I don't need you guys. We've established. I don't know how to say any of the terminology from Harry Potter, but so I also went to the United States house and took the quiz, and I am in the Horned Serpent house. So shout out to all my Hufflepuffs and Horned Serpents out there, because that is apparently where I live in the magical wizard world. And it's so cool because then you also like, it will pick out your wand for you and all of this stuff. And it's so interesting and fun. And it was when I took those that quiz that I was all into being a Hufflepuff. And I was like, I have to do a spread on this. I just have to do this. So that is why this spreads a little bit late, just because I'm still trying to brew up in my mind what I want it to look like. And because I haven't planned it, I, 
don't have a full vision, so hopefully it turns out beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to cut up some construction paper. It's like really amazing cardstock, and I have this like brick red because I feel like Gryffindor is more brick red than like a true red. So I am going to cut these up into the Happy Planner sized boxes. So now what I want to do is go ahead and glue down my um, cardstock. I mean, who loves planning? I mean, obviously if you're here, but like truly, does this not bring joy to you like it does to me? I just absolutely love this. Who is having a mild form of cardiac arrest right now? Just me? Just me. Because I could leave it like this and I feel like people would know it's Harry Potter already. Okay, I'm a little dramatic, but nothing new there. Everyone knows that. All right, let's move on. I am going to work on my washi. No, not my washi. Actually, now we're gonna move on to my stickers. So I have made these images on my computer and printed them out, and now I am going to decide where they go. They are all so beautiful. We've got Hufflepuff, Slytherin, we've got Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, we've got nine and three quarters, we've got the Harry Potter outfit, and then of course the famous glasses and his scar, and I think this means Deathly Hollows. I'm not sure. And then this is just Hogwarts with all the houses. Because this is a Gryffindor spread and not so much Hogwarts as a whole or the other houses. I am going to go with the Gryffindor sticker only. However, if you were to purchase this from my Etsy shop and let's say you want Ravenclaw, you would get the Ravenclaw sticker and you would also get the Ravenclaw color um, stock, card stock as well. That looks great and now I am going to move on to my washi. So the washi was a little bit harder. It's extremely hard to find red washi let alone brick red washi. So what I want to do is actually 
incorporate the majority of the spread to look like Harry Potter's uniform for Gryffindor. So we've got these colors going on and now what I'm going to do is bring in some black washi. I am loving the almost simplicity yet so incredibly powerfully Gryffindor that I don't want to um, add any more to this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my happy planner. Okay, so now that I have this in my happy planner, I have been looking at this, and again, I love the way that it looks. I just really think that these pieces right here kind of, oh my god, it just brings Harry Potter and his house to life. But I want to add one more thing because what is, you know, Hogwarts and Harry Potter without some potion? So I wanted to create a really unique paperclip. And I have come up with this. And this is a bottle filled with what I'm calling Gryffindor magic. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my spread. How cute is that? And honestly, now what I want to do is make like a custom planner cover that's Harry Potter as well. But that will probably be later on. But in the meantime, I have completed this spread. I love the way it looks. This was so much fun to do. So that is it for my planner spread this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you are interested, um, this will be up for sale in my Etsy shop and you can select which house that you would like. You can select from Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. I will not be doing any of the other houses, um, like the ones that I talked about, the American houses and like the Brazilian houses and all of those. It's just going to be um, the, the Hogwarts house that I will be doing. So if you are interested, I will link this um, spread from my Etsy shop below. And yeah, I will also link my uh, Pottermore in the description box as well. And you can take the test. And if you've already taken the test and you know, comment in the comment section and let me know which house you fall into. I would love to see who's Hufflepuff. And um, I would also love to see who gets Gryffindor too, because that one's like from what I've heard is like pretty hard to get sorted into that one. So that's pretty cool, but all the other ones are just as special. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.